Comer Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 23, Diligence, MPR 23-1. The days that are past have gone forever, and those that sleep in the womb of the future may not be seen by you in your present state of being. Therefore, it is well to concern yourself wholly with the present, forgetting the past and not expecting too much from the future. MPR 23-2 The present alone is yours, and the fortunes of futurity will be dispensed according to the law. Therefore you cannot know what the unborn days will bring forth. As to your own future state, subject to the law, it is being conceived in your present thoughts and deeds. MPR 23-3 Idleness is the parent of poverty. But success and prosperity attend upon the industrious and diligent. MPR 23.4 Waste not the early hours of the day. Serve your master with diligence, and promotion will be your reward. The man of affairs rises early to establish himself. Neglect not the affairs of the day, nor fill them with idle dreams of yourself when greater. For thus you feed yourself on wind while your bread is eaten by another. MPR 23.5 Who is he that acquires riches or rises to power, or is honored among the people, or is called before the king in council? Is it not he who rises early and goes to bed late? He exercises his mind and fills it with knowledge. He exercises his body and it glows with health. MPR 23.6 only a man who toils can justify his existence, and he who carries no burden or produces nothing of value were better removed. MPR 23.7 The slothful and improvident man makes strife to arise in his abode, and he destroys its foundations. He is a burden to himself, and the hours drag wearily through his day. The task is all about him, but he knows not what to do. His idleness weighs heavier than any toil. NPR 23.8 The years of his life pass away like the drifting shadow of a cloud, leaving no mark on the earth as a memorial. His body becomes gross from want of exercise. Disease lurks close at hand. He desires action but lacks the power of movement. He is imprisoned within a cloud of dullness, and his thoughts whirl in confusion. He cannot set his heart to any problem, and it wanders aimlessly like water from a broken channel. MPR 23.9 His dwelling place is in disorder, and he cries, Woe, calamity has befallen me. His family leaves him to his own devices, and he says, See, I am deserted. Of the ruins of his life fall about his ears, but he has no resolution to extricate himself. Shame and remorse accompany him into the tomb. MPR 2310 As in all things, there is a balance in labor and leisure. The man who toils all the long day never knows a relaxed moment, and he who indulges in pleasure unduly becomes soft and never acquires possessions. MPR 2311. Observe the ferryman. He allows a time for rest on land while another relieves him at the pole. MPR 2312. It is not required that you exert yourself fully. A leisurely life and an idle one are not alike. Attend only to your own affairs. The governor knows how to rule. MPR 2313. Aim for perfection in all you do, for the limits of excellency and craftsmanship have not been set. Seek always to attain a standard that has never been reached before. MPR 2314 Strive always to be the best in your calling, whatever it may be, and let not your energy be consumed in the envy of another's achievements. Strive always to improve your own abilities so that you may take your place among the masters of your craft. MPR 2315 Seek not to take advantage of your competitor by any underhanded methods. 
but overcome his opposition only through your own superiority. And thus, even though you fail, nevertheless, the blow will be softened by the retention of your honor. MPR 2316 Success is good and desirable, but of itself it plays little part in the development of the soul. It is the manner in which success or failure is met that leaves its impress there. MPR 2317 Consider carefully the causes of success in others. What they can attain is not beyond your reach. Be not one of those who marvel not when others remove mountains, but consider it beyond themselves to carry a pebble. MPR 2318 Diligence will always be duly rewarded by the wise master.